In this tutorial, I want to show you how you can tune your kicks or your drum samples uh, to the proper note so that way they can be matched up to the key of your song. So uh, basically, uh, we're going to do this in Edison and the channel settings window for the sample. So uh, the first thing I want to do is uh, make sure I have my mixer open by going to view mixer. So you have that open there. And uh, I'm gonna go to insert one, come down here to the effects and select Edison. Okay, so now I wanna pull uh, whatever sample I'm trying to tune into Edison. So I'm going to pull in one here called hard kick, pull that in, let you listen to that. Okay, so now I want to detect the tempo of this kick sample. So if I come down here in Edison and right click and go to regions, detect pitch regions. Now you'll see that uh, it's telling me that this sample is an the note F3. So uh, what I'm going to do uh, is uh, now pull that sample into FL Studio. So you pull that in here and you left click on it to pull up the channel settings window. Now you can see that FL Studio by default is assigning that to C5. Um, so we want to make that F3. Uh, I, I don't normally pull it to the same octave. I'll leave it at five, but I will tune it to the proper note. So uh, what you want to do is, uh, so you know it's going to be F3. If you don't know what note F3, or I'm sorry, F is on the keyboard, uh, an easy way to do it is if you just right click on your sample, go to the piano roll, and just uh, click this here to show the note names and you find F, which is right there. So you can see, uh, just count the notes above C that it is. So one, two, three, four, five notes is F above C. One, two, three, four, five. So and now you come back over here to the channel settings window and you just wanna go up five notes from the original. So. Uh, that in that includes the the black keys, so you can just go one, two, three, four, five, and that's your F note right there. So if you come to this key and you just right click on it, you will see now it moved this orange square to this key. And now when I click on it, you'll notice it's playing F in the piano roll because that's what my sample is tuned to. So now I've tuned that sample. So now uh, let's say my song is in uh, the key of C. Now when I play that kick on the C note, it's now gonna bring that kick tone down to a C note. Original. So uh, this is uh, just basically how you can tune uh, your kick drums, or you can really do this with any type of sample that you want. Uh, I definitely recommend you do this on kicks and 808s for sure. And uh, a lot of people do it with a lot more of their drums other than just those. Uh, so I hope this helped you out. If you have uh, any more questions, uh, just uh, leave a comment or get us on Twitter, and we will talk to you soon.